Did you know that Google Analytics is not GDPR compliant by default? In this video, we'll look at how Monster Insights can help automate some of the GDPR compliance processes for WordPress site owners. The GDPR Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, took effect back in 2018, and it came with some heavy penalties that created a panic for businesses around the world. Now, we've received a ton of email from Monster Insights users asking us what changes we've made since that law took effect. Now, to be clear, no single plugin can provide 100% legal compliance, so you'll need to consult an attorney specializing in Internet law just to ensure that your site is compliant for your jurisdiction. So don't consider this video as legal advice. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's dig into GDPR. The General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR, is a privacy regulation that was passed by the European Union. It's over 200 pages long. It deals with data subject rights such as the right to be forgotten, breach notification, consent, and a lot more. It would take hours to cover all that's involved in those laws. Now, that's why we recommend that you consult an attorney. Google Analytics is not GDPR compliant by default. According to GDPR, you must obtain explicit consent before you can collect or process any personal information of a EU resident or citizen. And since Google Analytics can be used to collect user ID or hashed personal data, IP addresses, cookies, and other behavioral profiling event data, you have one of two options. You can either anonymize potential personal identifying data, like IP addresses, or you can obtain explicit consent before loading the Google Analytics script. If you don't have consent, then you can't share the demographics and interest reports with your remarketing and advertising account, like your Google Ads account. Now, aside from that, you'll need to adjust the data retention controls in Google Analytics to keep historical data and access custom reports. All right, let's look at what is disabled with the Monster Insights EU compliance add-on. It automatically anonymizes IP addresses on all hits in Google Analytics, e-commerce, and form tracking. It disables user ID tracking on the hits in Google Analytics, e-commerce, form tracking, and the user ID dimension in the custom dimensions add-on. It disables the author tracking in the custom dimensions add-on. It enables compatibility mode. It disables the demographics and interest reports for remarketing and advertise tracking in Google Analytics hits, and it integrates with cookie compliance plugins like CookieBot, Cookie Notice, Cookie Yes, and Compliance without needing to make any changes to Monster Insights. Plus, it allows AMP users to agree on the Google AMP consent box before being tracked. It's important to note that it only disables the demographics and interest reports for Google Ads, remarketing, and advertised tracking. So you'll continue to get demographics and interest reports from aggregated data in Google. If you want to continue to track personalized data, then you'll need to get user consent. So instead of building a consent box solution inside Monster Insights, we decided to integrate with the four cookie compliance plugins that I just mentioned. So you can have a site-wide consent box that covers everything. So by using one of those plugins on your site, Monster Insights will wait to load the analytics script until the user gives their explicit consent. And we've also enabled compatibility mode so that the cookie plugins can properly pass the data. Keep in mind that if you're using a cookie plugin, unless the users opt in, it won't be tracked. Now that can lead to a lot of missing Google Analytics session data. That's why we always recommend the first option as the best solution. We only made this last solution available because we had ample users ask for it. If you'd like to learn more about how you can further customize this, be sure to check out our documentation on getting started with the EU compliance add-on. Now, depending on your needs, you may want to provide an option for users to opt out of tracking. Monster Insights has three ways that users can do that. First, if you are using one of the four cookie compliance plugins that I mentioned before, then you can use their built-in option. Second option, if you're not using one of those plugins, is to use one of Monster Insights opt-out link integrations or just create an opt-out link. I'll leave a link in the description on how you can do that. And finally, Monster Insights is compatible with the Google Analytics Chrome browser opt-out extension and the Google Analytics built-in cookie opt-out system. For Google Analytics data retention, you can choose either 2 months or 14 months. In Google Analytics 4, you can find this option in the Property column under the Data Settings, Data Retention. 
According to Google, this setting will not affect most standard reporting based on aggregated data. And that means that you'll have access to your default reports like your acquisition, engagement, and monetization reports because they use aggregated data. And you can select a date range for these reports and they'll generate in seconds because they're readily available. But you do have to take action. Now, what Google isn't telling you is that purging this data will eliminate your ability to run ad hoc reports on historical data. Ad hoc reports are based on the sample data that includes applying a segment, filter, secondary dimension, or a custom report. Now, this includes losing data to historical data on your Explorer reports in GA4. Now, while you might not use that every day, it can be pretty significant once you start diving deeper into your analytics. Just keep in mind that you might want to consult an attorney before setting the data retention policy to never expire or expire in 50 months. In Google Analytics 4, you'll want to choose 14 months. If you'd like to learn more about data retention, be sure to check out the link in the description to an article that provides detailed insights and perspective on data retention policies. Again, no single plugin can offer 100% GDPR compliance. That's why different services and plugins have offered their own GDPR enhancements to help your business comply with the law. At the end of the day, it's your responsibility as a business owner to comply with GDPR, so you might also want to be sure that your site is CCPA compliant as well. So be sure to check out the link in the description to that. And there you have it, how you can make your site more GDPR compliant. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 billion websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.